Hi. <laughs> so you probably already heard, but in the tech industry, there's been a lot of layoffs. And lately, I've been feeling like I'm not as safe as I think I am. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to practice some of my interviewing skills um, through lead code. And yeah, so I'm really out of practice. And if this doesn't go that well, I'm sorry. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I can solve a couple problems pretty quickly. Uh, I just thought it'd be fun. A little casual jaunt through Leap Code. Um, yeah, let's see how it goes. So I'm gonna be doing some SQL problems, um, mainly because a lot of data work tends to be done with SQL. Um, so it's a pretty important thing to practice. And honestly, I have the most fun with SQL. So <laughs> that's kind of part of it. I need premium for this. One sec. $35? What the? Okay, sure. That's so much money. Oh, you can see all the times I've been down bad. Anyway, let's get to some practicing. Yes, I'm doing the ones with high acceptance because they're easier. Don't judge me. <laughs> it's best to practice and gain confidence first. So let's do that. All right, so I'll just do the highest acceptance up next. All right. It's a master <laughs> to show you how it's done. Uh, okay, so the two tables. What the hell's going on? <laughs> Wait, what is this? Oh, I see, I see. So we're looking at all, we're looking for all of the people who have unique IDs. Okay. So it would just be a join on matching IDs between these two tables. Also, it needs to be a, a left or right join since we want nulls. And yeah, that doesn't seem too bad. Maybe that's why it has such a high acceptance rate. Uh, okay, sure. Uh, we're gonna grab, what do we want in the output? So w when I do these problems, I like to start from what the output wants. So we can see that there are two columns, unique ID and name. So we'll just grab those. Um, and we're going to be grabbing that from employees. Join. Don't worry, I'll do a left join later. Employee. And it will be a left join because we want to keep all the employees. Uh, and we're joining on matching IDs. First, we should call this something. So I'll call this E, and I'll call this the EU, the European Union. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so E dot ID equals European Union dot ID. And that should do it, I'm pretty sure. But also we need to specify that unique ID is coming from the European Union and name is coming from employees. Screw it. <laughs> Let's just submit because it's gonna be right the first time. I'm a gamer. What can I say? Boom! I'm a gamer. <laughs> I live on coffee and pizza. Nice. Next problem. Back to the lab again. All right. Next up, invalid tweet. All right. So what do we got here? Um. Okay. So we have a tweets table. Ah, uh, okay. So we need to find invalid tweets and we just want a list of all the tweet IDs that are invalid. And invalid tweets would be something greater than 15 characters. Uh, so we just want to find the length of the tweet. If it's greater than 15, then we remove it or we return that ID as the ones that we don't want. Um, I forgot how to get length. I'm gonna guess, because I don't want to look at documentation right now. <laughs> So, we're going to find the tweet IDs from tweets where length, I guess, question mark? The content is greater than or equal, is it an equal? Must be strictly greater than, strict. Is there any ordering we have to do? Nope. All right. Get we ball. <laughs> Why does it have so many downvotes? What the heck? Boom. I'm a 50%er. All right, right on. Next up. 
number of unique subjects taught by each teacher. All right, uh, I guess we'll just do one more. Number of unique subjects taught by each teacher. Okay, so we have a teacher table. So we just want, okay. So we just want to know how many teachers there are and how many subjects they're teaching. Uh, so in this case, we have this teacher with ID one uh, and they teach subjects two and three. And then we have teacher two who teaches subjects one, two, three, and four. What a try hard. <laughs> and okay, that's the explanation. Um, yeah, and we just wanna return that table with SQL. With our SQL mastery, we're going to do that. So let's look at the output first. We want the teacher ID and the count. And we're gonna specify what the count is in a second. So we're grabbing all this data from the teacher table. Since we're kind of aggregating by the teacher ID, we're going to group by teacher ID and we're going to get the, the count of unique subject ID. I don't know if I can do this, to be honest. <laughs> this might be wrong. I don't know if it'll run. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna get the count of unique subject IDs as this count column, and then we'll have the teacher ID as the, the, the teacher ID. <laughs> and let's run it. No, I know you, I had a feeling you couldn't do that. So this is an interesting thing that we're gonna do. Sometimes in an interview, you're gonna come across something that you can't do off the cuff. And I think it's pretty fine to ask if, if you could just look up documentation on something. Or you can ask your interviewer like, hey, how exactly would I do this? And maybe they could look up the documentation or just tell you how you would implement it. It's not important. What they're looking for is the way that you think and how you're going about solving the problem. Like knowing the specific details, like how would I count unique is not as important. Although counting unique is a pretty basic thing. So it's kind of embarrassing that I don't know how to do it. Uh, count unique SQL. It's distinct. That's, that's uh, Brian, the winning engineer. And this is probably gonna run. <laughs> okay, I'm embarrassed fully. Um, <laughs> I'm fully embarrassed. Uh, I think, I think we're, I think we're good. Well, that sucked, uh, but it was fun. <laughs> Uh, real quick before I end the video, I kind of just wanted to talk about like experience with layoffs in general uh, because I've been through a couple layoffs throughout my professional experience and you know, I have a few thoughts on it. So I, gu I guess I just want to target like the two populations of layoffs. One is let's say you're safe from layoffs, but you see a bunch of your talented coworkers and friends that you've been working with get laid off. Um, I think it's important to remember that it's okay to feel bad about the situation. Uh, and I think it's important to take as much time as you need to like take a step back from things, process, because ultimately like whatever emotional state you're in, that might affect the way you work. It's gonna affect the way you feel and that's just not good. I think taking a step back, feeling what you need to feel um, and recognizing that it's just a shitty situation, no matter what, is really important. As for people who have been laid off, that really, really sucks. Um, and I'm really sorry to hear it. Uh, I hope you keep kicking and you're just uh, also taking the time to yourself to feel things uh, and you're ready to bounce back whenever you do. Oh, and I guess one more thing, when it comes to layoffs, I think so much of it is outside of your control. So like, yes, it really sucks, but don't feel bad about it like it's your fault because it's honestly not. It is just the way that things are. And I'm really sorry if that happened to you. I'm stumbling a lot. <laughs> In other news that isn't really depressing, uh, I think, you know, we've gone through recessions before and have had that shitty economic situations as well. Uh, and it's always bounced back. I still believe that ultimately everyone will be in a better spot real soon. Everything's gonna be okay, sooner rather than later, I hope. Uh, but yeah, please everyone take care. Take care of each other, be good. Uh, and I'll, I'll see you in the next video.